You wanna live outside the group then fine But it's there like a flower Blooming in your ears Open up your mouth Pollinate your peers Nothing reminds the mind of power Like the cheap boat of plastic Leaking fumes we crave Consume the rush It feels fantastic Like power turns to mold Like a junkie going cold I need the fix Oh my god. Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Into the Music. My name is Greg and that cool cat over there is Andy and Andy, what's happening, man? Uh not too much. Uh just cool cat in it here in Baltimore and uh looking forward to another uh another session of digging into some music with you. So um I assume you've got something up your sleeve. I do, but I see the Orioles guy, right, on your hat oh, yes. and baseball, and I'm a big baseball fan, and it sucks. God, if we don't get it. Sucks to mother MLB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't get the F and act together. Yeah. It's funny because the guy's name is Manfred, and the M and the F in his name are incredibly. <laughs> That's so good. Have you used yeah. that line while like with friends? No, I can't. It laughing. came to me right now when you went. <laughs> so, and I was like, are you yeah, serious? That is what he is. No, I'm dead serious. That's dead pretty serious. That's pretty darn good. I'm right. You know, I'm gonna steal that. You know that I'm letting yeah, you know right ahead. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, it's man. yours. I bequeath it to you, sir. Thank you. Hey, oh, oh I, I'm, that's a great I'm gonna segue. I'm gonna now say I'm bequeath uh this. I think it's a pretty fantastic nifty song. Um, okay. and it's called tenderness. And the band is uh, I think I'm saying this right. Um Parquet, uh, they have a T at the end, but I think it's Parquet Courts. Do you know the band? Yeah. Um, uh, that's a broad question, right? Because I, I could say yes, but I don't know any of their their music. I just know that that they exist. Right. <laughs> so I haven't I haven't been able to dig into them, and I, uh, they've kind of been on my radar. So okay, when you, when you sort of offer up um, the songs that that you'd like to share with with your your sidekicks, yeah. And I saw that that was on the list. I was like, oh, that one I wanted because it was already on my to-do list anyway. Music. Oh, cool. All right, Greg. Yeah, give me Parquet Courts. And this will be uh, this will be my excuse to introduce myself to them, although it'll be you introducing me to them. But either way, I get to walk away having heard Parquet Courts. So I'm looking forward to it. Ah, that's awesome. And I'm sure you probably let me know. And, you know, everyone can tell I'm old. And, like, you know, I forget things. <laughs> so We're keeping you, you sharp. <laughs> there you go. I'm so glad I'm handing it to you. I, I didn't. I'm not putting this in the hands of Phil that says, I don't know. Blah. <laughs> Blah. Who knows? You might like it too. We'll Blah. see. You know, they're kind of hip and they're kind of this. You know, I, I could <laughs> I could appreciate that, but uh, it didn't do anything for me. That's that's not it's not a bad film. <laughs> you. Phil, don't kill me. Phil, I love you. I really do. Stop yeah. apologizing to people when they give you ah, you know, <laughs> you're great. You are, and you are too. Uh and you're going to be great if you like the song. But of course, you got to keep it honest. So go check it out uh, and give it to me. Let me know. Um, let me know what you think. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. This is going to be fun. All right, let's go. <laughs> your clocks old stubborn heads we are the heirs to the wire they never had a chance it was not so long ago that the world was mostly slow the age of iron screaming speed turned a stroke to a stampede but we've come to increase time oh there's lyrics and this bass i mean come on the bass is great get out of here but those lyrics just then in that in that line, I want to go back. Um, hmm. This should do the trick. <laughs> Replace your clocks 
old stubborn heads We are the heirs of the wild They never had a chance It was not so long ago That the world was mostly slow The age of iron steam and speed Turned a stroke to a stampede But we've come to increase time In between tips And there's romance in the slow dances Cause they're fertile and hush Futile and haze These are your nerves This is how they taste Well I can't count how many times I've been outdone by nihilism Join the mods that's an open heart into a schism I cower at the thought of other people's expectations And yet still Travel where you are Tourism is sin These are the ruins we left behind You can't take pictures of them If what they say is true Then you become what you chew If it decays, spit it out Affectation is a drought That you wait through when you hate everything that you do Outside the group then fine But it's there like a flower Blooming in your ears Open up your mouth Pollinate your peers Nothing reminds the mind of power Like the cheap odor of plastic Leaking fumes we crave Consume the rush It feels fantastic Like power turns to mold Like a junkie going cold I need the fix Oh my god. He's he's not stopping, so I can't stop. And every line he's saying um is is profound in its own way. Ah. Uh, uh it's funny because we've talked about this before where music, you know, you're listening to music and it gives you like it gives me this uplifting almost like Jackson 5 type backbeat and bassline and you don't think that the subject matter of a song with that sort of, you know, sound and musicality are going to touch on like the subject matter that his lyrics are. Um, and this is just like a lot of fun. And it's, um, I love the unexpected and this was clearly the unexpected. Um, yeah. And I'm going to have to take it back and I'm sorry. I mean, it's only a three minute and 10 second song. So I think we've got time to spare here. Um, but God, I don't even know where to go. This looks good. Through when you hate everything that you do. You want to live outside the group, then fine, but it's there like a flower. Blooming in your ears. Open up your mouth. Pollinate your peers. Nothing reminds the mind of power like the cheap odor of plastic. Leaking fumes we crave consume the rush It feels fantastic Like power turns to mold Like a junkie going cold I need the fix Of a little tenderness Like a junkie going cold I need the fix Of a little tenderness Ah Ah Alright Here we go <laughs> No, don't end. Come on. Two more verses. Uh, uh, I liked this song. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Greg. Um, the bars are raised pretty high because Andy's like, you know, a lot of my stuff. So, uh, you know, there's got to be that one that's going to just go like a lead balloon. So here we go, Andy. Give it to me. You live to fight another day, Greg. <laughs> this is 
maybe my fit the best song you've ever recommended to me since we've been doing this I mean, maybe because because we've done arctic monkeys and i love arctic monkeys so i'm just qualifying yeah, yeah yeah of the songs that i've never heard before that yeah you did to me, this is far and away my favorite wow the, the entire song is a hook and usually artists write one hook that appears two or three times in their song yeah and they, Day, this entire song was a hook. I loved yeah. it. Yeah. I loved the music. I loved the incredibly real, cutting, biting social commentary of the lyrics. Yeah. Um, never, maybe perhaps never. What I should say is that I've this song has tapped into my ethos uh, to the point where it feels as if the, the lyrics that I have pulled up. <laughs> to it because that's how much I enjoyed the song. So I was like, let me pull these up before I come back to Greg. It's as if they were pulled from my own head. Um, and, and and that's not to say that I'm not trying to say that I'm a great writer. I'm saying- Wait, do you I, see this color? I think on my face, I, I, I feel like I'm blushing. <laughs> like, yeah, you, well, you love this song so much because I, I do songs that in my heart, you know, and it's so much, wow, this is great. I feel like- I you're had like to stop it multiple times because the lyrics were coming so fast um, and they were every deliver every line of the song lyrically is a haymaker. So I was just getting hit like, oh, this is awesome. That's a what profundity. I can't believe. Yeah. And so I had to keep pausing or finding time to pause and then take it back to experience it again and make sure I caught it all. Mm -hmm. um, and I loved it. And and now marrying my opinion of the, the the music and the lyrics, I loved how they were married together because it's a weird juxtaposition. You have this really poppy hooky lovely infectious song musically yeah that piano um, huh oh. yeah it's it's like it's almost like jackson five bubblegum lovely popish stuff that's just it's great it's so yeah. fun um and the piano is just rocking this melody that's incredible um but then these lyrics come in and they're so scathing in their own way and and observant and biting uh, and just real, <laughs> and that's juxtaposed to this almost. I don't. I don't mean this negatively, but like a like a like a an innocence, a juvenile innocence to the music, to the to the you know the sound, mm. and this adult sort of content um, uh, in the. And I don't mean it that way, but just like the heavy content of the lyrics. Yeah, exactly. I, I really love that. We've talked about that before about how a song can lead you down one path in your mind because of how it sounds musically. And then yeah. getting hit with, you know, lyrics that are, are quite the, the opposite. This was, this was something, these lyrics um, are incredible, man. Uh, I've just wanted to go over them with you because they, they resonated so much with me. Oh yeah. Cool. That's good with you. Um, just be, yeah. Before you do. And, and, and the way he delivers them, his voice his it's voice kind, is rich. It's so it's like rich. Chocolate. You know, he know he has some range. I mean, range as far as um, I don't know how much rangey, but as far as like um, he he does that kind of like with soft kind of um, yeah. Right. Yeah, I think he goes, I think he has a pocket. Right. Pocket. His voice has a pocket, and it can't exceed or go below. But when it's in its pocket, it sounds really rich and full. It's like this baritone sound to it and it's great and right and what drives that range where he goes then like a little bit, it's it's that emotion because then he turns it on yeah. i love that so as i'm listening to the song for the first second or third time right and then the lyrics are trying and i'm trying to like i didn't really know what he was singing you know those first few times but he had me hooked by the how he was delivering them, you know, and certain yeah. lines in this that, and I'm like, there's something going on here. There's something really important here. It's like at the it's like at the beginning of each verse, he, it's very mellow and calm, and that's when you get that richness. Yeah. That about. And then as as the the verses progress and work their way towards the 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 chorus, um, you get that that escalated tone and almost little bit of gruffness in the in the lyrics uh, or in the in the vocals and. That that's that's the part you were just talking about. So I think he does navigate that really well, and yeah. it, and it matches the natural flow or evolution of the song in general. And it keeps it interesting too, because you had that sort of yin yang. You know, you had that soft, and then he goes, you know, and 
uh, and then he kind of pulls it back. And in the meantime, the music and the piano, the piano is going note to note almost with him. Well, he's going note to note with the piano. It seems yeah. like, which, yeah, which, it's like they're holding hands through that, through that, through the verses. And ah, it's, yeah. It's really yeah. Great. So, yeah. So go read. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool, man. Yeah. Read some. Okay. So I remember listening to this and we got to maybe like the third line before I started or fourth line before I really started to like, okay, I need to listen to these lyrics. These are important. So uh, we've come to replace your clock's old stubborn hands. Yeah. The answer to why they never had a chance. It was not so long ago. The world was mostly slow. The age of iron, steam, and speed turned a stroll to a stampede. Oh, like the, yeah. the age of iron, steam, and speed turned a stroll to a stampede. It's like this, this reflection on how simple life was before circa you know the industrial revolution and that yeah. whole paradigm shift and how life was lived um and just the idea to replace your clock's hands as if to to say time is moving differently now um or you know culture society has has is such now that we need more hours in a day um type of so to, true to, or yeah you know sort of what's going on with those lyrics um so uh, we come to increase time in between ticks, which is literally confirmation of the idea of trying to make put more hours in a day. Um, and there is romance in slow dances because they're fertile in hush, futile in haste. They these are your nerves. And this is how they taste. Um, I love the the idea of there is romance in the slow dances. Um, because they're f they're fertile in their hush, meaning they thrive um, when it's quiet and calm. Um, and wow! Yeah, you picked up on that, know, and I know the song way longer than you. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh wow, that's what it means. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and 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 so they're fertile in hush, futile in haste. So it's you're saying the same thing twice. It's just differently. You're switching yeah. around. Um, so it's, is that you know, why you took a half hour to come back to on the screen here? <laughs> You're really oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I listened to it three times, read the lyrics for, um, <laughs> took a cold shower, uh, and then yeah. came back. Made some dinner. Yeah. yeah this is, this is the kind of shit that I nerd. I really nerd out about is like the dissection and meaning of lyrics, oh, that's, yeah. whether it's poetry or whatever, yeah. you know what I mean? I, I kind of, um, we've talked to your son is kind of interested in English. I'm, I'm a bit of an English nerd myself. So this is really, this is fun when I get something that catches my eye and I get Excellent. to do you know I mean? yeah. yeah. Um, um, and these are your nerves uh, and this is how they taste. So this is, this is what it tastes like to be uncomfortable. Um, I think. Oh is yeah. Like um, the, the having to acclimate to the fast pace of life and bidding adieu to the romances of slow dances and that approach to life. Yeah. Cause I had the lyrics pulled up too. So I'm just going to, I should just be reading line by line with you. I mean, myself, you go keep, keep going. Yeah. This <laughs> sure. Is great sure. And, and like, I could be wrong. And if, and if anyone who's listening um, has a different opinion, please feel free to share. I'm just like thinking this through as I'm going through it. This is like real time stuff. Um, yeah. 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 Cool. Go ahead. Well, well, I can't count how many times I've been outdone by nihilism, which is such a, a, a it's so funny, right? Because you go to, <laughs> you, you often resort to nihilism because you're outdone by, by, by the, the, the portrait of the way life is supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, and you become so put out, off by that, that you resort to nihilism. Now in some strange of a turn, turn of events, he's talking about how he's just, you know, nihilism has become too much. Um, and they've joined the, I joined the march that splits an open heart into a schism. Oh, so is that like, is that activism that he's talking about or? Well, I think what he's saying is you can't, you can't count. I can't count how many times I've been outdone by nihilism, joined the march that splits an open heart into a schism. So it's like, almost like, all right, I'll go with the flow. I'll give up on nihilism. I'll try to acclimate to and move forward with the normal flow of life um, with a less jaded approach. Um, but when you do that, you're the, the sort of open heart, open mindedness that I think comes with being, being one who questions the way things are, you end up with this heart that's in a schism. You become quite the opposite of an open heart. You become right. split. 
Right. Um, I cower at the thought of other people's expectations and yet still hand over mine to them, which is like, I recognize that I hate the idea of having expectations put on me. And yet here I am going with the flow of how society is and taking right. expectations and set and still doling out my own to others and just becoming a cog in the machine and yeah. what I don't like, you know, sort yeah. of um, situation. Travel where you are. Tourism is tourism is. Sick. I love that line. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. These are the ruins, ruins we, we left. Find. You can't take pictures of them. Of them yeah, it's so good. Uh, I know if they say is true. Then you become what you chew like you are what you eat. Right. Um, if yeah. it is spit it out. Affectation is a drought. And I love that, too. That affectation is a drought. That whole putting up a sham um, that you're happy with where you are. And this is a, hey, yeah, sure. I love my job and my boss is great. And, you know, everything's fine in my marriage this, and all that, that you just say in passing, but don't really think about or, or express the truth behind, um, is probably, yeah, that probably is draining having to continually put up that front. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that you wait, uh, that you wait through when you hate everything that you do. So yeah, affectation is a drought that you wait through when you hate everything that you do. It's like what I said, mm -hmm. uh, you want to live outside the groove, then fine. But it's there like a flower blooming in your ear, open up your mouths, pollinate your peers. Like, I love that too. Like the, the, this, the running with the flower and pollination metaphor with the idea of like, Disseminate what you really feel. Tell others, you know, this is all. Yeah. The words have power. You can change this if you express it to others. Um, nothing reminds the mind of power like the cheap odor of plastic leaking fumes. We crave consume the rush. It feels fantastic. But like power turns to mold, like a junkie going cold. I need the fix of a little tenderness. Yeah. And he's talking about like, and I don't want to get too into things, but sort of the, the consumerism, the, the sort of like the negatives of capitalism, almost, if you will, um, not to you know say that it's, it's holistically bad, but yeah, um, there is this, this drive to consume and to be the first or to have the best. And you lose yourself in that you lose your identity because you could become defined by the things you want and the things you have um, and not yeah. by, who you are and what you think um and and i think at the root of all that is tenderness like have have humanity and 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 empathy and and help someone else before you help yourself um and yeah i think that our society and the world as we look at what's happening nowadays on like a, in a from a global stance like we could all use a little bit more tenderness yeah. And when you take all of the, the, the bullshit out of it, you know, like the big companies and the and the big governments and and all the people that represent them, what you're left with are like good people. And and we need to get back to that kind of giving being um, humans before we're any other group. Like that's the first group that we are and the ultimate group that we are. And I think tenderness goes a long way from human to human. Um, and this was just. Yeah, this is instant playlist. I don't care if you want me to listen to more of their stuff. I'm going to look for it before that time comes. You're not stopping me. Yeah. Uh, this is this is really this is really interesting, and this is a kind of um, this is a kind of song that'll stick with you for a long time. You know what I mean? So I I I can't help but um, connect if it's not obvious on a super level with um, the yeah. message, his lyrics and the words he chose to convey. Um, that message. And again, I don't, I, I say all this about the lyrics and that should take nothing away from how good the music was because the music yeah. was wonderful. It was the perfect vessel or vehicle for these kind of lyrics. Um, it ref the music kind of refuses to let you look away or stop listening. So it right. gets, you're forced to listen. And when they have you, they pollinate your ear. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say that um, would I be stepping out and like you know would i be wrong if i said that if the music wasn't as contagious and as hooky and, and just enjoyable to your ears 
that if they if they just because this is to me is like this is some of this is poetry i mean he could be just mm. writing it like you know really like interested and it's deep you know and your analytical skills are like you know i'm totally impressed i really am um yeah you just put on a whole school there you know just a whole lesson <laughs> you really did i mean that's really amazing and 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 so you know he wrote this very deep um and but the music you know that i can't wait to see your reaction you know because um the music to me is what like it, it like got me ready for this you know and mm -hmm. I'm, like it hooked me already you know for sure without question and, and i think the genius yeah. of this of this of their songwriting ability is to is to write lyrics that are this great and profound but to come up with to write a, a the perfect um dish on which it could be served and that's the music right like yeah. this the it's just so well presented and it's presented in such a way that kind of straight jackets you into the song like you can't right. get away from it you know what i mean there's no escaping it so you, and and it's good but there's no you can't you can't ignore you can't ignore something that good you know and this is all opinion i mean you guys listening or watching or whatever could think i'm totally full of shit and you didn't like the song at all and god bless you that's your right uh but this really did um really did speak to me more than like i said and i hate doing this to your ego uh more than any other song that you've 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 given me and i said that your range with you with you and, and our exchange is five to ten because one through four doesn't exist you at least give me a decent song <laughs> that's cool and plus you know so in the spirit of jim carrey you know are you saying this has a chance to get on oh, I'm your telling top you. playlist <laughs> i'm telling you there's a chance yeah no this is this is going to be on rotation so so much that i you know my, my phone's going to be smoking and uh i'm going to run out of data probably yeah this is this is yeah. really this actually comes off their 2018 album uh it's called awake and it's got like five a's in the middle after w awake um exclamation point and um there's a few other songs on this album it's fantastic it really is and so uh you know, well, I'll let this one marinate a little bit, you know, don't, I'm sure you're gonna be tempted now to check out this band, because it really seems like you really like this song. Oh, you know? I, I, yeah, I just said it. There's no, you're can not we take, can you take the ride a little bit with me? I'll give you a few more songs and then, and then I'll let you go. How's that? Give me, if you want that to be the case, give me the couple, give me what, give me their names, because I'm going to search every other song that by them that aren't named those and listen to them in the meantime. I will. I'll do that. All right. That, that's our that's, compromise. That's a deal. Okay. So folks out there, I really hope that you like this reaction, that you like, you love the song as much as Andy did. Um, yeah. Thank you, Greg. Seriously. Thank you for this one. This was. I, I loved, I, this is the first song I heard from them. And it hooked me. And then, like I said, I just, that whole album. So yeah, you're welcome. Absolutely. Um, I was blushing. I really was, you know, when, cause songs, you know, I attach it, I go, that's it. I love a song. And when someone loves the song that I love, it's almost so, it's like someone's like, is it, yeah. And it's, like, that it's like a part of me. A, like someone's saying, you're handsome. Note. Yeah, like yeah you're we handsome. Didn't, we didn't, we didn't write a note. We didn't write a lyric. And yet when we see someone else like what we like, we get this strange, like, you really yeah. like, he had some part in its creation it's just like no, like you're complimenting me you know it's like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But, but, like, I, but i've experienced that feeling too greg i know exactly yeah. oh I'm shucks yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right so uh again i hope everyone enjoyed this and we'll see everyone on the next episode of into the music 